Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video. I'm going to be talking about some newly shown figures. This time it's going to be from the Transformers Studio Series line. And we have Wave 9 of the deluxe figures from the Studio Series. So this is quite exciting. We have three new figures uh, making up again Wave 9. Um, all of these figures have been rumored. Uh, they were rumored in, in such a confident way that I actually made a video about the rumors a couple weeks ago. And now they're confirmed true and we have the official images of the actual products which is quite exciting. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, kind of what's neat is there's kind of a range here kind of between the uh, um, kind of original trilogy uh, uh, Transformers films and the kind of the newer Bumblebee one. Um, but we have one of the Wreckers being Roadbuster. Quite exciting. It would be really nice to get a complete new set of the, the Wreckers themselves um, from Dark of the Moon because we did get a set from the original Dark of the Moon release. However, one of them was only released overseas. The U.S. release was canceled on it and therefore it made it very difficult and very expensive to get the last one being Leadfoot. Um, so it would be great to get a new opportunity for all of those who couldn't get it from the first one. Uh, but here, as you can see, Roadbuster is going to be the first record that they're doing. And uh, I have to say, personally, I do have the original three deluxes from Dark of the Moon, and they're all good. None of them are bad. However, if one was going to get an update, the one that I want to get an update would be Roadbuster, to be honest. Um, I just think that... Uh, it, it was the one that left uh, the most room for improvement, and I do think that this is an improvement. This is more accurate. Uh, this takes some of the car paneling out of the robot mode, which I like. Unfortunately, he does have a bit of a backpack. However, um, the, the paneling was very evident, uh, especially on the arms of, of the original one. So to get rid of that and have something that's... um more streamlined kind of robot proportions uh, rather than the car parts being super visible is great. I do also like the shade of green. I think it looks quite nice. And then the head does have uh, the visor, which I think is very good. And it's it's a very noticeable visor. Um, the alt mode is also more accurate. Um, the original Roadbuster that came out didn't have this kind of accurate alt mode. It just kind of had like the regular race car, but it wasn't like souped out with all electronics and weapons on it like it was in the film. So um, this overall is just much more accurate in general, and I think just looks a lot better. So I think it'll it'll be a great addition to the record collection. And again, hopefully they do topspin as well as Leadfoot. Scrolling down here, we have Shatter. Um, this is Shatter in the, her kind of jet mode version, essentially. Um, so it's kind of like another another version of the character, um, similar to what they did with Dropkick. However, they did Dropkick in reverse. They did his flight mode version first, and then went back and did his vehicle mode. Um, with Shatter here, they're doing a reverse. They did her vehicle mode first, and now they're doing her flight mode. So it's nice to get the flight mode. It would have been much cooler to get like a all-in-one uh, type of a figure where it transforms into the jet, the car, and then the robot. However, I can imagine that would be quite difficult to do. But they, they seem to do it with the Constructicon, so I would uh, think that they could do it with uh, Dropkick or Shatter. This new version looks quite nice, though. Um, one thing that I predicted, and it is the case, is that we do have a new head sculpt that does not have the battle mask, which is 100% accurate, as compared to the one that they did not too long ago. Um, you know, she does wear the battle mask in the movie. However, it's literally like you have to pause it in, like, scenes where she's in the background. Uh, it's the split-second shots where she actually has the battle mask on. Um, but for any close-up shot or any just major shot of the character, she does not have that mask. So I have no idea why they originally did that. Obviously, just, you know, drawing off of uh, concept art, I would imagine. Um, however, this is much more uh, inaccurate face sculpt and something that uh, I think is much better. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, and then the rest of the figure looks pretty good. Uh, she, her, her, like, guns that she's holding here, I think, look really bad. Um, but assuming, you know, you take those out of her hand, and I think that she's going to look quite nice. Um, what's nice about her compared to Dropkick is that Dropkick and his uh, kind of the jet or the, the helicopter mode. When he turned into a robot, all the pieces on him were helicopter mode. None of them looked like a car mode at all. Um, now with this one, she, she's lacking some car parts like that. There's obviously no wheels on her and things like that. However, the chest very much represents the car. Um, and then the back pieces uh, represent the jet. So you do, it, it feels like a triple changer as opposed to any of the other versions of Shatter or Dropkick, which is quite nice. And uh, overall, I think that looks pretty good. Um, Paint is a little eh, it, it's mainly just gray, and then you have some splashes of red. I'm hoping the final product is a little bit better paint-wise. However, the design over, overall I think is quite nice. Just, you know, the weapons, get rid of them, they should look really good. And then the last one is going to be Bumblebee from his original mode in uh, the Bumblebee film, when he has his fight with um, 
uh, with Blitzwing. Um, overall, I think that the design of this figure looks good. I think that the, the car mode looks good and the robot mode look good. However, I think that the coloring is a little a little too bright. I would like something a little bit more mellow. Now, being that this is the, you know, kind of official image and not an, a practical image of the figure, um, I think that there's a strong possibility that uh, that when we get in person, it'll have a better color scheme to it, or at least a different color scheme, because at the moment, not loving the yellow that they picked. However, the actual robot mode, I think, looks really nice, and the car mode looks good. Uh, the robot mode has a lot of boxy kind of proportions, especially the legs. I think the legs look really nice, um, so it does look pretty cool. For me personally, I don't know if I get this small movie. Um, I would absolutely get it if they made Blitzwing, because it would be really fun to pose him, you know, fighting Blitzwing in this mode. However, since there's no Blitzwing. I'm not, I, I don't know if the Bumblebee figure is needed, but it does look quite nice. Shatter for me is 100% going to get. I have both versions of Dropkick, and I have uh, the previous Shatter that the Shatter that they did, so I definitely want to get this new version, especially for that head sculpt. And then uh, Roadbuster is another one that I definitely plan on picking up, and uh, again, hoping that they do the rest of the Wreckers. So overall, three new figures for Wave 9. We've got one Decepticon, two Autobots, one from Dark of the Moon, two from Bumblebee Film, and uh, overall some good choices. So yeah, overall uh, three really nice looking figures, all of them 100% new sculpts, which is great, and uh, they're all looking pretty good. So let me know what you guys think of these three new figures, and thanks so much for watching.